Hi guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodah. -Doo. Welcome back to my channel. So, I am here with these, um, are these called Kabashians? Kabashians? Oh, I'm not sure how you pronounce this, clearly. Clearly, I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> that I ordered recently from Amazon. Now, I actually ordered a few um, different ones. So, I've got these ones that have got the little loop, you know, so that they can be hung, like, with a bulb pin or some, um, you know, chain or whatever. Um they came in a little set so you've got kind of silver ones and the antique bronzy ones now personally i'm not that keen on the silver ones so i will color those um with some patina so i'm not going to use the you know the silver ones today i'm just going to use the bronzy colored ones um i don't know whether i'll get time to kind of do many of them but we'll just kind of see how we get on so obviously we've got two different sizes um we've got the smaller ones and we've got these bigger ones now the smaller ones just I I punched out with my little tiny oval punch. So this is two and a half by 1.9 centimetres. Um, it just literally just about fits. So that's really, really great. Now this, I don't think, no, it's too small. So I'm going to have to, unfortunately, cut round things to make these bigger ones, which, you know, cutting ovals, generally not my best skill, um, particularly if I've got to just kind of, you know, Oops, measure them up, you know, with a uh, big glass dome thing. So in the set, yeah, they came from Amazon and I got the glass domey type bits as well. So what I've done, I've printed off my ephemera set um, and this is my ephemera set two and I've printed it off um, two to a page. So you get like a shrunk down version anyway, if you see what I mean. So I've taken the shrunk down version and then printed that two to a page. So they're really quite tiny little images that I've got here. So I'm just going to cut them down a little bit more so, so that I can get my scissors, my, my punch, sorry, next to the actual image that I'm going to try and get. So for instance, this one with the little girl, just going to obviously punch that out like that, okay. So that's going to literally just about fit in there. Now I'm going to have to squash it in. It's not going to be a comfortable fit. But yeah, I'm just going to squish that in there. So I'll do a few. So I'll punch out a few different ones. So we've got that little girl. Now I wonder whether I could do this one. Not quite so keen on this little girl. Mm. Well, she's okay, I guess, isn't she? So... Okay, whoops, got that one. And then this one I might have to just go in slightly, slightly closer. Like that, okay. She's gorgeous, this one, absolutely gorgeous. So pop her there. Right, this one, I can only really get the top girl in but I've got kind of those heads beneath her, if you see what I mean, which I'm not so keen. So I might save this and just make something else with this. So yeah, I don't want to kind of waste that one with the ovals because I don't, you know, I don't like the fact that they've got then the other heads kind of poking in. Actually, let me just cut this straight down. And then I'm going to try and keep all the ones that I don't use. I'm going to try and keep together. And then I'll either think of something else to make with them straight away. Or, you know, I'll put them in my ephemera box. But either way, then I've I've not got scraps laying around. So, yeah, I'm going to keep them together. Oh, where am I going to keep them? Let's put them to the side. Okay, so I just need two more of those tiny ones. So, I don't know... I don't know whether I'm going to get these ladies in. Let's give this one a try. Because they would be lovely. Oh yeah, they are lovely, aren't they? Yep, really love those. Okay. And then again, I'm not going to use this one because this one's just kind of black and white. So I feel like that would be a bit of a waste on one of these little kabash Kabashions. I, I really don't know how you pronounce that, I'm afraid. So, yeah, I should probably just avoid saying that. Let's just call them charms. In the metal charms. Let's just use that phrase. Okay. That just sounds better, doesn't it? Um, right, let's see if I can get this lady. Oh, she's nice, isn't she? Okay. 
and then I'm just going to cut this one down again to keep something else. Okay. Yay! Right. Let's get rid of my rubbish. Keep those in one place all together. Right, they are gorgeous, aren't they? Hopefully you can all kind of see those. They just look so, so pretty in these. So let's just quickly ink around the edges. I mean, it's not really necessary to be honest, but just, you know, just in case. Because also I'm going to have to squash these in. So, you know, they may then have, I guess, white edges kind of showing. So yeah, probably the inking is is going to be a bit a benefit after all so let's just go around there like that oops last one okay right let's get rid of this now i don't know which glue is going to be absolutely best for these i've got to be honest i have got some of the e6000 glue um which i may give that a try um I mean, obviously, these are just paper sticking onto the metal. Now, I did see a video from Tanya from Tattered Treasures, um, Tatty Treasures, a little while ago, and she made some of these. I think she made, like, botanical ones. And she just used her normal glue, I'm pretty sure. Um, you know, and that seemed to work absolutely fine. So, do you know, shall we, just, shall we just try with the normal glue? I mean, this glue I find pretty good, and it does pretty much stick you know everything to be honest so you know there's probably not any reason really why this wouldn't stick these okay so I'm just going to take each one and just pop that in now I'm going to have to obviously like I say squish them in quite a bit like that now might be best at this point to use my little pokey tool thing maybe with a wipe or something so I'm not actually poking the picture too much and as I said it I think I did just poke it because I felt like I felt the paper rip but so just that glue squishing out okay Oh, I love that. That's so gorgeous. I mean, to be honest, it looks so gorgeous even without the, um, you know, the glass dome on it. It looks just beautiful. So, yeah, really, really, really like how these are turning out. It was a good, good choice of things to fill them with, I think. And this is my ephemera set two, Victorian ephemera set two. But yeah, don't they look cute in there? I love this one. It's my favourite one, I think, this little girl. Although that one, I think, might be my favourite, to be honest. Either either one of the little girls. Definitely, definitely my favourites. They look really, really, really nice. Okay. As I say, I mean, if you've got this um, little set and you've got these these charms, these metal charms, um, I did have to print the smaller size of the ephemera pieces two to a page. So they're kind of shrunk down already and then, you know, printed two to a page as well. So they're kind of like double shrunk, really. Um, you know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't have been able to fit these in otherwise. Let me just grab my phone. Hold on a second. That. By the time I got there, it had rung off. It was a number I didn't recognise anyway. So, uh, yeah, right. Okay. I'm using an old phone to do my filming so um yeah my actual phone is kind of just behind me hence it was still able to ring right those and then this final one I do quite like this lady in here actually as well she's gorgeous color against that metal isn't she she looks really really nice really nice oops for some reason she's not kind of slotting in there quite so well Okay, just going in with the wipe as well to, um, you know, dab up any excess glue that's just coming out slightly. Okay. There we go. 
beautiful 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 they look really 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 cute i just love them so my next issue now is obviously the domes so like i say whoops i watched tanya um from tatty treasures and i'm sure that she just used her tacky glue to stick the dome on now i feel slightly kind of slightly skeptical as to whether or not that's going to be the right glue but should we just go for it i mean sometimes you can get these little sets and it's adhesive um you know backing which i guess actually in hindsight probably that would be better um but you know failing that let's just try for the tacky glue so right let's just go over there So, I mean, obviously it looks very cloudy at the moment, but I mean, the tacky glue does dry clear, so it will hopefully dry clear. Again, just mopping out the excess glue that's coming out around the edges. Okay. Now, I'm wondering, whilst I'm kind of experimenting, maybe I should just wait and check that that's a going to actually glue and b, b that it's going to be see-through before i kind of randomly do all of them so yeah should we get on and do a couple of the big ones while we're waiting for this to dry i think that probably would be the best thing to do wouldn't it so yeah let's just do that so i'm just going to pop that down to one side oops now dropped it on the floor thank you so much for uh, looking after it and to try not to spoil it it's now on the floor okay right so let's bring in a bigger one now obviously you've got the dome you know there so i'm thinking kind of the dome is going to be the easiest way to cut these pieces out is to place the dome over now i could draw around it i don't really very often draw around things to be honest and normally just hold it in place and then just cut around it but to be honest i think maybe for this yeah, maybe I'll be a little less, you know, um, oh, what's the word? Well, a little less sloppy and I will actually draw around it, I think. So I'm just having a look to see if I've got a pencil because then, of course, I could rub out, you know, my markings. No, I only appear to have a pen. Oh, that's just typical, isn't it? Yeah, I can only spot pens. I'm going to quick damage it right here. Oh, wow. Right, okay. Well, we will just we will just do it with a pen then, shall we? Okay, right. Let me check my pen's working. So I'm going to go for this lady. So just going to draw around. Now I'm going to try and press as lightly as I can because obviously I am using a pen. Okay. Right, let's cut this out and see how we've got on. So these are the same size pieces, if you see what I mean. But obviously, you know, I'm just now cutting them bigger rather than using that very tiny oval punch. You probably can get an oval punch for this size. I can't remember what size I actually bought. Um you know, of these charms. But yeah, I mean, have a look on Amazon. They've got tons and tons to choose from. So I'm sure you'll be able to find all sorts, all sorts of things. Okay. Right. I mean, as you know, ovals, not really my favorite thing to uh, cut, but, oh my goodness. Ah, and this is where it all really deteriorates. Okay, let's <laughs> just see if that fits. Well, it's not too bad. Right. Okay. So let's just ink this up. Oops. And again, I mean, the inking just really disguises, you know, shoddy, shoddy cutting. Okay. That looks good, doesn't it? I love how these women look in this. I must, must say, really, really lovely in these um, metal charms. I mean, they're just my type of thing, to be honest. These metal charms, they're, um, yeah really my type of thing they're just gorgeous aren't they okay and obviously you know i mean i'm doing these obviously to make them as charms you know for junk journals um but to be honest i mean depending on how well that glue sticks down 
I mean, you could use these as jewelry, couldn't you? You could, you know, put these on a chain and have them as a locket. You know, or, ooh, I'm just thinking, could cut this off and have that as a gorgeous great big ring. No, it's probably a bit too big even by my standards, but, you know, that type of thing. That's what I'm thinking. So, right, let's just press that glue down. Right, I'm just going to pull in the other one and see how that dome's looking so we can see whether we want to go with the tacky glue or not. Oh, yay, it looks okay, doesn't it? It looks okay. So, I mean, I just hope that that glue's going to actually hold it, but providing it does, then, um, you know, the tacky glue is, is fine to use. So again, just kind of spread that out just so it's a bit of an even coat. Oh gosh, e even, and then I'm just, yeah, making a right mess of this. Oh, again, I don't, don't recall watching Tanya make such a mess of hers, to be honest, but. Okay. So again, just getting that excess glue that's kind of coming out and seeping out like that. Okay, I think I've got quite a bit of glue on the outside of this one, but hopefully, you know, I can peel that glue off afterwards. So again, just going to put that out the way. Right, let's pull in these little ones again and do their little domes as well. So, one, two, Three, four. Okay. Like I say, I mean, they came in the, you know, the mix with the silver ones. I'm not so keen on the silver, but that's fine because I'm just thinking, you know, I can just kind of patina them or something. So, you know, then they will be obviously, you know, perfectly usable. It's not like they're going to go to waste. Okie dokie. So again, just pressing this down getting any excess glue out. Yeah, I mean, I have got that E6000 glue. So I was contemplating using that for the, you know, the piece of paper against the metal. So, I mean, if I find that there's any kind of issues, then obviously, you know, that would be an option. But I'm hoping that there wouldn't be, because to be honest, these bits of paper, you know, or, well, they're, they're thicker paper. Um, they're quite a tight fit, if you see what I mean. They're not kind of baggy in there. They, you know, I've really had to press them in. Um, so, I mean, with the glue and the pressing them in, I'm thinking that, you know, they should stay in there pretty well, to be honest. Okay. And this one. I mean, maybe it's not even essential to rub your glue, you know, spread it out, but... I just feel like I, you know, want it to be as even as possible, which obviously if you don't spread it out, you might just have like a sort of bubble of glue, you know, like kind of showing, if that makes sense, you know, because you might have areas where it hasn't got glue. And then of course the glue would then seem much more visible where it was. Whereas if it's kind of like the same appearance all over, it might not be as clear as they are like, you know, when you buy them. But it's all going to look the same. So it's going to have the same level, same level of clearness. Okay. Okie dokie. I'm putting all these under my leg. Can you, can you tell? <laughs> Just kind of squishing them down, hoping that they're going to be, um, you know, drying really well. Okay. Okie dokie. Press that one down there. Okay. Again, just get that excess glue that's just seeping out slightly. Oh, 
I love how these look. They are just gorgeous, I have to say. I mean, I was thinking of these really as a charm for the outside of a journal. Um, but to be honest, I mean, there's no reason why you couldn't have these as charms on tags or, you know, anything like that, to be honest. You know, they're all going to look really, really nice, aren't they? Okay. Oh, dear. Oh, come on. Okay, press that down. Whoops. Okay, got my excess glue that's just oozing out a little tiny bit. Okay. Really press that down like that. Okay. Again, just pop that under my leg. I have a whole collection of them now under my leg. Right. So I'll just bring in these four and we'll just kind of finish these four off. So again, let me just bring in, just grab out my four, four glass domes. I'm not sure. I think these are actual glass. I don't think they are um, plastic. I might be wrong, but they feel, feel like glass and they sound like glass, don't they, against my glass mat. So yeah, right. Oh, what have I done with my pen now? Okay, grab my pen back in. Okay, let me just oh, pull my glasses down. So sorry, I just um, hit the camera. Okay, so this one. And... This one. Some of these obviously work better than others with these. You know, because these were like, um, you know, they've got writing on. So I don't necessarily want any that are going to have writing because I feel like that's going to be a bit weird in there. I mean, like that, you've got quite a bit of tree trunk, which just looks strange, doesn't it? So I might just leave it at the ones that I've got. Although then I have an odd one out, which just feels weird now to me. Oh, perhaps I should try and do four. Let's try and do this one, shall we? You know, heaven forbid that I will have an odd number. An odd number running. Okay, right. Oh, gosh. Did I get pen on there? Who'd have thought that just a biro would pick up on there so easily? You know, it's not a Sharpie or anything. That's shocking, actually. Quite shocking. Right. So again, let's just cut these down. Just cut out those couple that I'm not using. So I'm keeping them tidy. Oh, my goodness. I've snipped into it. Snipped into that by accident. that one and this one right let's get those off the desk we are not using those not using right rubbish so let's try and cut round this one uh, again my oval cutting skills not great you know, I mean, they don't have to be too, too brilliant because, to be honest, like I said, I mean, they're actually kind of a very, very snug fit in that frame. So, you know, you're kind of squishing it in, which, you know, anywhere then where it's kind of not really fitting, if you see what I mean, it's being pushed in and sort of pushed up. So, you know, I think you can get away with being a little bit more... Um, well, just, yeah, not worrying so much, to be honest. So, okay, let's just take this. Okay. Cut this down. Okie dokie. Let's 
And now this one. That dome that I used, it had a little tiny, um, like a notch missing. And of course that's now been drawn on to all of my, all of my pieces. You wouldn't have really thought it would make such a difference, would you? But it does, to be honest. Anyway, it won't once they're in there and glued in and with their domed tops, it's, it's not going to be quite so apparent, so. Okay. Just trim that there. You know, because if they're not snug enough to that pen line, if you see what I mean, then they're not going to fit at all, are they, in the um, things, because they're a tight fit anyway, so. Right, let's just glue these in. Oops, and I haven't inked them yet, so I must must remember to ink. Oh, I do apologise if you do not like that noise. I mean, I don't I don't love that noise either, but yeah, I mean, some people really dislike that noise. So yeah, sorry about that. Just the metal against metal. Not the nicest noise, I've got to be honest. I've got to admit. Not the nicest. Okay. Let's pop these in. Oh, oh my goodness, I have made a shocking job of cutting her because she doesn't want to fit in there at all. Okay. <sighs> oh dear. Oh, now I'm turning her around. Okay, let's just squish her down. Ah, come on. Okay. Right. This is probably a little bit like watching paint dry for you guys now, so I do apologise for that. Um, yeah, must apologise. It's probably not the most interesting thing to now be watching. Well, I say now, maybe it wasn't the most interesting thing to have been watching even at the beginning either, but... Probably got worse now. Now you've seen it done several times over. Okay. So, I mean, these types of jobs, these are very, very fiddly for me. Um, you know, some people love doing things like this, don't they? I mean, yeah, I don't really like doing things like this so much. I love the finished article. I love having these little charms and things like that. But, you know, the actual kind of assembling of these, this is quite fiddly for me. So, you know, I think you're either a kind of lover of these types of fiddly things or you're not. And definitely, I would say I'm not. Not at all. Okay. Oh, I love this one in here. Isn't she beautiful? I mean, I would buy that. If I saw that out, you know, I would buy that. It's just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And it looks so Victorian. I mean, obviously it is, you know, it is a Victorian image, but yeah, I would buy that. Okay. Okay, squish that down like that. And then the final one. Okay, press that down. Like that. Okay. Squish that down and then, whoops, lots of excess glue coming out of this one. And then I will glue the um, domes on. So I'll probably finish these ones off after, you know, I'll um, spare you, spare you guys watching me just do the same thing again because that's just, yeah, can't be very interesting to watch. So just going to squish these in like that and then yeah I will finish the domes off 
in a second so after the video so you're not having to just endlessly watch me doing the same thing so shall I pull in the ones that we have finished because you know they're obviously tucked under my leg hopefully looking awesome now but who knows they might look rubbish but I've probably got the shape now the shape of these on my leg oh they are looking gorgeous aren't they absolutely gorgeous so yep that's how they all look she um you know that glue's very apparent on her I think that's just where she's um you know not dry yet hopefully you know once they are dry they're going to all dry completely clear but aren't they just so gorgeous you know really 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 lovely so yeah I hope that you like them and obviously you know I'll come back and we'll have a play um probably have a play at coloring the metal and then we'll have a play at using some of these um you know maybe doing some little things with some of these so um yeah I hope that you like them and thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys soon. Thanks then. Bye.